I want to reach longevity escape velocity. One thing is when I was in medical school, I watched a television show on, on long-lived sea life, bowhead whales living 200 years, Greenland sharks living 500 years, other life forms, sea turtles and so forth, perhaps longer. And I remember thinking if they can live that long, why can't we? And I set a ridiculous longevity goal. I did it most for shock factor in conversation of like 700 years. Put that aside because it is ridiculous if I'm 63, 64, if I can make it, you know, to 100, which I have every confidence I'll blow through that, that means I've got another, you know, 35 years. During that 35 years, the level of progress is going to be so incredibly unintuitive, uh, so incredibly exponential that lifespan and health span start to become something that is no longer worthy of conversation. Like, how long do you want to live? You know, if we get to the point of being able to get into nanotechnology and re-engineer cells, you know, we're now on the verge of generating a backup supply of human organs. Let's get you an extra heart, liver, lung, kidney, pancreas. If you ever need a new one, we can just swap it out. We're beginning to understand how the 100 trillion neurons in our brain work and what's going on with mental disease. What is it fundamentally that's causing it? So when I ask people, how long do you want to live? The approach I take to it is in your mind, you have a number that you got from someplace. Maybe tell how long your grandparents lived or how long it says in the Bible, or whatever the case might be. And that number is self-limiting. And what if that number were no longer valid?